Look, there's the Molossi brothers. Been in the garage for about six months. I think they're ready. We're going on a mission. Another day, another adventure, mate. Does that sound like a YouTuber thing to say? Let's go. Let's go. Me and the Molossi brothers are going fishing. GT is on the menu. Not on the menu, but GT is an option. Sailfish an option, Jack? Sailfish is always an option. Four years ago. Nico hasn't got a GT for four years. Land bust. Land bust. You got a good one last trip. I got a 20 kilo one. We've got the scales again. Whatever we catch, if it's like looking decent, we'll give it away. Just so you guys know how big it really is. Should we just go fishing here? All the water is on your side there. Aha, uh -huh, that would explain yes. this. Maybe. No, you, you'll be all right. As long as I'm over. Why are you going to tell me to go to that side? <laughs> do you both fly the same? No, I do. Are you 80? Yeah, tall. I'm 76. We can wrestle any time. What are you? Around 78. <laughs> no, you're not. I am. Are you? Yeah. We can all wrestle. I can't wrestle you. I don't want to wrestle. 96. Yeah, no wrestling, Jack. <laughs> you, want, you want to mess with this? <laughs> well, I know how to handle that one. Okay, well, I feel better about myself. I feel shit about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Step down, are you good? Yes. How is the esky hook up? You were like frozen on top. I was like, oh, is he gonna fall? That's sick, bro. Good Juju for the beginning of the trip. He's fing ripped me. No. Oh. Yes. Demo. I haven't been. <laughs> <laughs> <Why? laughs> you hooked up very shallow, and in between you and it was bombies. I feel like even at like 10 kilo we can do that too, bro. Oh. I'll run up. Suss it. We're just having a little look at where we can camp here. That's chill. Heavy set fella working. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, bro. Bit of weight in that one. Yeah. Yep. Cheers, bro. Great. Thank you. Catch one like fish. Big bangers. No pepper. You get out of here. No pepper. Thank you. Woo. You. We're here. You. Let's just have a look. See what our camp zone's like, mate. You could crab down here for sure, yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. yeah. Is there a flat zone here? Oh, just pull that rock. Oh, yeah, right in front of it. Just blow it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crocs are not good for this. <laughs> 
Uh, Shall we quickly put on our shoes? Yeah, the, the Crocs are sliding everywhere on me, eh? Actually, Nico, you should probably be down the bottom because you got the reach to pass up. Oh! I don't know. How dodges the foot in down there? Cheers. I never let myself get excited before my feet touch the sand or the rocks. Just because so many things can go wrong. Cars can break down on the drive up. Boats can break down on the way out. You can forget your rods, you can forget your reels, you can forget your cameras. All kinds of stuff can go wrong. But we're here, we've got all our gear, and the water's pretty clear. Last trip the water went milky and everything shut down. But this trip we're already at the peak of the tides and it's wanna, still clear. I wanna make a little, just a real quick shelter with the tarp and get shoved in the under. Okay, pretty nice little zone. We're like eagles. Very is, yeah. Perfect. Hoo! Chilled. Do you want a rock? Yeah, that's chill. Good? Yeah. I think I have to get my long sleeve on or it's going to be bad. Oh, cracking the rods open, but I'm not actually getting them ready yet. All I need is this long sleeve t-shirt because I haven't had any sun cream today and it is hot. For some reason I decided to use my fishing shirt as my rod tie shirt this trip. Big dog. The power of the man. That's good. Uh, from what I understand of the weather, we don't even touch that tip today. We fish this tip because it's the only day that we're really going to get to do it. And then flats section, Arvo, when it drops. So set up the tip. Get the chocolate in the esky. Set up your reels. Drink some water. Whew. Oh, yeah, this is that chocolate, by the way. Have you ever seen it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's just no veggie oil, so it's maybe not as yummy as some of those others, but... Yeah. I think I'll set my tent up right here. <laughs> Head torches in bags, though. Just in case. I hope it's not a hardcore climb, man. Um, have you looked over there yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely some kind of core and it's not soft core. <laughs> Could be a bit of a hike for old John. Not old. <laughs> Let's see what we got this trip. Yeah, I just got one spare setup. Oh, two spare setups. This is what I'm using as my main rod this trip for heavy. P10 Spartan rod. The reason I'm using this is last trip I used the 8.5 and while it was very good to cast and work lures, especially like around high up zones and stuff like that, it could keep my tip a bit lower. During the fight on that bang bang that was body hooked, there was so much weight. I just got a bit more punished than I normally do on a shorter stick. So this trip I'm back to the seven foot nine, the shortest stick I have for heavy, just to see if I prefer it during the fight. And if you look here, there's no fighting belt. I hook the fish. I don't even need to put it up. I could put it down if I wanted to. There's no fighting belt, bro. Yeah, well, you want it. You want it. I'll be screaming for the belt after about 10 seconds. I'm actually going to try Hawaiian. Ooh, danger zone for Hawaiian. What about your testes, man? I'll sacrifice for the bang bang. If you're interested in seeing what gear I use, go back a few videos. I did a video talking about all of my gear. Check that out if you're keen to know what I'm using. There's links in the description and there's links in the video that describes it all as well. We're putting this Fusey on a P6 setup with big singles in case a billfish comes. Rods wrapped. We've got five setups. Look at this. Not ready. If you've got a tuna, 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 middle setup. Big school of long tails, bro. They're coming into the bay. They're right in line of you. Go to the ledge. They're big long tails, man. 
They're big long tails. They're right there, they're just sitting there. Straight out at the middle of the island. Little island. Yep. Oh. On ya! Yeah, did you see that here? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, I feel like they're. Nah, I think they're bail though. Well, they were so obvious, like we'd see them from up they here. Were ones, man. They were like 20. The yeah, they're 20. That was cool, bro. It hit. It wanted it. I'm pretty sure I got that. Good work, mate. You did a good cast. You see that big swirl, the big yeah, swirl? Yeah, yeah. Could you see them once you were down there? You could see them? Yeah, man, and actually a massive trout followed me. In. Oh, really? Yeah, followed me all the way. Okay, okay. To the proper ledge. We go. Unsure if we can even get there. You reckon? Give it a go. Yeah, there's a crack. Oh, but you think can't get down it. Pretty high. This is safe here. Because it's real brushy, I can't actually see what's underneath. I might just see a big drop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scout, okay? It's actually higher than it looks, though. So. Do you want me to go the whole way to make sure we can get down? Yeah. Yeah? Let's see if there's if a way around. Oh, is this not even the split? No, the split's way over there. Oh. Let me just go and check if we can do this, okay? Yeah. Might be five minutes. Oh. Uh, be careful, bro. Just making sure we can make it this whole way. Because currently we're at a dead end back there, but I can I can do it without a bag or rods. And I think we could do it with passing of the gear. But I'm just making sure we can get the whole way around. So we're not coming across and then getting stuck at a dead end. Kind of looks alright. John might not fully appreciate that slippery slide, but he does appreciate big GT, so he might not have a choice. Oh yeah, she's pretty slippy. You got trees here to hold on to though, which is pretty good. A couple of rocks. Definitely doable. Don't think about the drop below to certain no longer get to go fishing dimension. Okay, this is getting a little bit weird. I'm going to cut through and get over to there. Alright, I've walked probably about two, three hundred metres through Psycho Bush and I arrive here. Which we want to spin the very tip over there. And I think we can get that. There's a bit of sticks in between. I'm going to tell the boys it's on. And we're going to repeat that whole mission I just did but with rods and bags. Skids! It's pretty smart, eh? there and there's a perfect foot you just stand up you're not gonna die you just hurt your ankles mate. oh is it not a cliff no cushy bush landing where's the foot the foot go okay, wait see that hand there yeah. you can kind of palm down on that bro i'm not that fixable but with hand hold on wait a minute oh, i'll have to crab it up yeah, yeah you do you. <laughs> you're not going in even if you fell there this way <clears throat> Little hole for the earrings. <sighs> Nickel 6'4. So that gives you a bit of perspective on. We're a good four meters up the cliff here with ankle breaky technology below. Yeah, you, you wouldn't die there. Oh, you'd be peppered though. Chill. The rest is sticks. I think we're good here. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure. Go land based fishing, they said. Heaps of fun. The fish isn't earning a fish, I don't know what it is. We're nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we actually are. It's this one last tree. Joy. Joy. The brakes one. Just something. Careful, careful, you've got to pop her on your shoulder. 
One sec, I'll just line this up. Ah. How's holding rods above your head? Oh, it's oh, one, of my, it, it. one of my it, favorite things, bro. <laughs> yeah. Break the heat. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I got it. Well, let's get to somewhere and have a drink. Should we just have a drink? Okay. <laughs> that was worth the danger. I think so. For sure. Cool. Look at it. In the end, it will be. Beautiful. So we're heading. You swam in a few bushes before, haven't you? Not? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? You know what you're doing. Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> yes. And then go down there, Briggsy. Take a ride at that big tall rock. Yeah, it's all shallow here, bro. Okay. Your rod looks so funny right now. Inchworm in your way along, eh? It's a bit steep. The other side. Yeah, other side. What a mission. It's so good. Waterproof back bus? Ah, nah, I might do the whole one today, but oh, okay. should be right. I think we're <laughs> we're getting close. Bro, right. Bro. Right. Oh boys, the tropo level over here. Wow. I hope the goey's picking up like that. Beach is putting down, that's wild. There's current on the other tip on this tide too. Dude, there's actually more. It's all right, we're gonna spend the next two days with the wind strong over there. So this is basically our one session here. That tip's pumping current. <laughs> How you feeling, mate? You happy you came out of the shed? Wanna go back to shed? Let's even look what we're up to. It looks skitsy just there. Yeah, it does. Oh, this is oh, yeah. much better than expected. There's a perfect little walkway down. I don't know if it's the ledge, but there's a walkway down. We're dodgy on these rocks. A few of them have fallen off. Cameras weren't rolling, but like chunks like that where your hand or foot was. Oh, you got it on camera. John nearly stack attacked. Come on. I think we're on. I think we're on. Or are we? Yeah, we're on, we're on. Totally on. Frothing. That was one of the hardest walks I've ever done get into a ledge not sure how it comes across on camera but that was honestly at the limit like any worse than that and you just you wouldn't you wouldn't do it you go somewhere else that was psycho might have a little sit down eh for a oh, minute oh, oh. What, what we got? oh it's a shock get it bricks i love these guys oh my favorite thing in the world dear stand there favorite thing little shark action to start us out did I just have first cast at the ledge Brigley <laughs> Don't lose that lure! Bring it! Teeth! He's coming in circling, boys! He's gonna go berserk! 
He's gonna go berserk. Here we go. P6. He's Do you want me to go get fires? Oh no. Oh no, bro. Just need fires, eh, boys? Oh, I'll go get them. I'm gonna try and get him into the pool here. How is the bomb cast? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Got other fish hanging around. Careful, careful. Yeah, bro. Perfect landing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Haven't caught one of these bad boys in a while. Saw him cruising and we had quickly had a throw at him. He's ready, he's ready. I'm going to chuck him back. Right, bro. Right, right. Hey, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> 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 Nice. All right. Good action. Good action. We had that little shark action when we first rocked up. Now we're going to cast heavy, possible GT. It's no current. We thought the current was going to hit this tip, but it just doesn't. I think this tip is a no-go on the drop-in tide. It has to be an incoming tide here. So what we're gonna do is just pepper a bit, probably go light tackle in a minute, see if we can catch some trouters and stuff. But we're not super hopeful on the big GT just because there's zero current. There might be a cruiser in the back eddy. Back eddy Danny. The boys are all spreading out. John's out there. I'm over here. Nickel's over there. Not sure about the standing spot. Just don't wanna get pulled in. There's no way to really step other than just fall straight in, but. Maybe we'll loosen a click or two, just for this zone. See what happens. Cast in. Oh. First proper cast. We've got the shark before on the specialty setup. But this is my first proper heavy cast. It's a big deep ocean out there. You never know what comes by. Oh. Rocked up for the first ledge. Let's throw this big 260 Vader. First cast. I have my few casts on the heavy. I'm going to switch, go light, medium, mix it up, try and make the most of the zone because it's not like a full crazy current GT zone. I think we just have to cast maybe for some cruising pelagics or trouter, possible. Rogue 90s. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's huge. Yeah, so, um, oh, over here, over here, bro. Good landings on over here. I haven't seen a big one like that for a while, Lambos. I think you pretty much lift them on the 80. Yeah. With those hooks bend though. Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Good one, bro. That, what, what size are we talking? 90. 90, yeah. 90 mil Molossi hot silver, is that? Beautiful fish, man. I haven't had a big cod like that in years. Sick fish. I quite like them. Yeah, they're really cool, man. Sick fish. Really cool. All right, we'll get a couple quick snaps and we'll set them free. Sweet. Phew! So sick, man. John and Nickel built these, but they haven't had a proper tropo session yet. We're gonna go for a little walk, have a little flick, try and get some colorful, beautiful little fish for you guys to see. Rigged and ready to go. Tiger prawn, you got a little bait fish looking color, yeah. rapture color, Yeah, frothing. We're going for a walk, glowing tip. Not sure how much more sun there'll be actually on that tip. 
but we're going to try and make it out there. Oysters are your best friend in these situations. She's slippery. In here looks good to me. Cod Lane Central. How tight are you guys? Cod Lane. Send it. Micro velocity minnow. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah, oh. oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> I'll get the camera. You keep passing, John. Sunset stripey, bro. Frothing. Oh yeah. Yeah, bro. Phew. We got two fish at once. We just de-hooked the stripey, and John's got himself a little codling. Let's uh, let's do a double watering together. Little codling. Minion ADF. Yeah. Beautiful. Shallow one. running minnow. It's a really like light coloured one, it's cool. Now go. Brian the little Adam. It's gonna be called the Adam, eh? Adam. We peppered this little tip, stripey and codling, but now we're heading possibly back to the home zone because it looks really shallow. We think we might be able to walk out and wait a bit and flick the light tackle. Because this tip, there's no current. But Poo Rock, thank you for the action. We're heading to less poopy pastures. Schmaction. Schmaction. I wouldn't mind schmaction. We're gonna head back to camp and then go out on the flats. Light tackle sesh, Arvo. Sun will probably be set by then, but we'll have a few on the home zone. This has been a difficult session, but basically just because there's no current. We're at the exact wrong ledge. We needed the other ledge and we would have had proper action, I think. But it looks psycho, bro. It looks pretty hard, eh? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's... We're good to go. If we can. Yeah, if we can get it Yeah, we should. We'll, we'll be able to. What is wrong? It's a little minion, 80, ADF. ADF minion. Pretty much designed for this. Shallow diver. Shallow diver. Shallow diver. Possible tip up for the first couple, eh? Very chill. Yep. Yeah, bro! Yep. Smoke it! Yes! I get the DSLR. <laughs> Beautiful little cod. Smallest of the day. Little fella. But the most tropo zone to catch him in. Quick photo. I'll send him. That's cool. The light right now will look amazing. Yeah, it will I. That one. Oh, yes, sir. I know. Yeah, I think it's sweet. Sweet? That's going to be the funniest angle because it's super wide and I'll look like tiny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Oh, we're we'll going to New China. <laughs> I'm scared of heights, so. Like, it feels like you're going to fall. Do you get that vibe? Where do you. Just try and put where there's an oyster or two. Follow the crab once you get to the crab. Sun's about to set and we're only just getting back to camp. It was a mission once again. We went through that bro today. 
we were going through that and up and over mantle hey fell and dry it he cooked <laughs> the garage is safe that's probably the last we'll see of the sun because we're going to head over to the far side and we're going to actually throw poppers because it's the low light time hey, it was a mess in today hey give us a break we need a break that's good right Look at that. yeah, sweet that's nuts. 10 hours no no what, 31 percent yeah, yeah. yeah. How far away are your poppers? Mine are probably way more easy. Yeah, no, I've, I've got poppers. Popper? Are we, are we all in agreement with the poppers idea? Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. So I've got a blue one on. If someone throws some kind of tiger, at least one of you do a tiger. Then we got mix. Today, right where I'm standing, this is how much tide there is. Right where I'm standing, Nickel hooked a long tail long tail had to go at his lure right here that long tail was right here the first swipe yeah bro yeah <laughs> little adam 75 mil Can you walk her into the shallows? Yeah. That's alright. He had a go at it. Yeah. First fish. That's pretty sick. Is it the first fish on the popper? Oh, not the first fish. I think I've got a queenie to it, but first on the flat in the dark. <laughs> so I see it, bro. Yeah. Is it too dark now? One more. One more. The pop will be right. Oh, yes. Yeah, boys, oh. Oh. Whoa. Finger mark. Oh, I'm sorry. Moses perch. That thing went mental for the size. Yeah. Sick man. Moses perch? I don't. Is that what they're called? I've seen Moses perch that are like grey silver, but this one's like it's got that yellow it's like stripe. A cross thing. between a stripe and a. Yeah. Or is that a stripe? It's not a stripe. What's the black thing? No, no, it's a, yeah, it might be a Moses perch, man. Skitty. Almost had me. Last fish of the day. Yeah. All right, good work, mate. Thank you, brother. Big session on the pop pop at the end. <laughs> you were popping off over there. <laughs> it's design. It's design. Sweet. All righty. We're going to release this guy, head back up to camp somewhere over there, and then tomorrow is another day. All right, I don't think you can see anything, but Moses is swimming off right there. All right, boys. Good day. Woo! Back in the zone, man. Yeah, for sure. Do you like the zone? I love the zone, but... Huge day. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Oh, it was a big walk. That's a big walk. I uh, hope you enjoyed the film. That was a very big mission today to get to that other ledge. Tomorrow, we're going to go to a completely different one. And hopefully, there is current and hopefully, there's GT. I reckon we'll get a Juno, maybe. There was a lot of pelagic screws around. So yeah, we'll just see what we get. Frothing though, we're on the island. Our tents are up there. Ew.